what what do you mean well because technically because he's the most important person that we're talking about right now right yeah but why do you care about he's gonna be a part of my baby's life is well, that... it's not just your babies it's both of your babies mm -hmm. right and doesn't the child yeah, but, uh, he doesn't want to be involved yeah yeah yeah. it's both of our baby but uh, he's not uh, acting like men so do you think he he has a right to see the baby do you think you have a right to child support Ooh. i i don't that that is a big one destiny that is a three-pointer there destiny you are right about that one Joe, well, you're both right you're, you're both acting like idiots, right? To be fair, right? You got what pregnant by the, because you got pregnant by a guy that doesn't mm. want to marry you. You're just as dumb as he is, right? Mm -hmm. The problem isn't with either of you, though. That, that shouldn't be the main concern. The main concern should be the child, right? He's it's not, not a, concerning about the child. I am. That's why I went on an adult <laughs> conversation. So don't you're you you're leaking DMs speak on Instagram? How you, you don't care. You're not caring. The child right now is just a money ticket for you. Uh, you're not caring at all about true. the child. Why are you leaking what is all the this money? publicly? The what money is the, is the child the support money? that you think that you were talking about earlier, Look, that you're very familiar you? with the U.S. Like, law. Who are you? I'm here because I, I got invited from the owner. Who are you? If you're not the owner, don't speak to me. Oh. Because you have no right to talk about my situation. It's not you're even literally on I mean, he just got divorced, so I understand why Destiny's like super pissed off about this. But, oh my god, bruh. I think Destiny is becoming a little bit red-pilled. I'm not talking about your situation everywhere. What do you mean? I'm talking about the situation. It's not about money. What do you know about anything? What do I? I apparently more than you do. You do? I'm like knocked like... up by Fresh from Fresh and Fit. What do you, <laughs> are you trying to act like you're the one with all the experience here? Who are you? Here? Who are you? How do you have the rights to talk about this? Like talking about a man Wait, being I, because a I'm apparently because I'm older than you. I've got more life baby. experience than you. I'm the only you one. Older that... than me, so you have more rights. No, apparently I've got. I'm just curious. It seems like you have like all of I, this. I don't want to talk to you right now. Okay, so. Daisy, uh, I don't I, want to talk to you. Let me, um, okay. Uh, um, Destiny's gonna take a break for a little bit. Oh, shit. I, I am, I will. I'll take out. This woman is a <laughs> piece of trash, though. She's ruining uh, this yeah. life because you she wants to milk this guy for money. You actually <laughs> suck human filth. Just letting you know that. Good luck. Bye. You can say whatever you want. I am. Yeah, God will judge you. you <laughs> Christ is king. Oh, man. So. It's been years and the same thing keeps happening over and over again. We have another situation with Fresh and Fit and their their actions not matching the message. And to be honest, mostly always comes from Fresh. So the guy Fresh, he gets exposed at the call gets leaked where he's asking his girl for an abortion. Damn. So check this out right here and we'll come back with some reactions and comments. What? I want the baby because I, I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No, no, I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. Bro, that's, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. You're a life coach, my guy. You're a life coach. You're helping boys transition to men. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing it. Okay. Brother, guy's stressed. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want to kill <laughs> no. Jesus okay, so Christ. Christ. And what you going to do to me? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby? Okay, let's see here. Fresh and fit. In a lot of trouble. Fresh and fit's credibility and the trust they've been building with their audience for years now is at risk after this recent fresh scandal. You see, their empire could very well collapse if Myron keeps fresh on the team much longer. Let's take a deep dive into this recent drama that's like really bad. Fresh and Fit's entire brand is like male self-improvement, teaching men how to get chicks, 
how exactly. to be in shape, how to self-improve and get some money. Okay. So they present themselves as the alpha male teachers. They will teach you how to be an alpha male, how to not simp for a woman, mm -hmm. how to not put a woman on a pedestal. Okay. You see, I say that because I'm aware of what they are trying to portray, but their actions don't usually correlate or match up. Case in point, they began to put this Asian chick on a pedestal and even began to brag about fresh dating this chick or this chick liking fresh. On that path. I don't want to hear nobody talk about fresh no more about not getting girls. Yeah, the baddest girl there, people <laughs> talking shit. This was some bizarre stuff. See, fresh is supposed to be teaching men how to be alpha male and get women, mm. but nothing screams get a lot of chicks more than laughing like a schoolgirl after your homie compliments you about bagging your first baddie. Yeah, the baddest Bruh, pause, pause, pause. If we're talking about chicks, you should not talk about chicks. Didn't you make up that you had a girlfriend? So if we're talking about chicks, maybe you should just put the brakes on this one. Girl there, people talking <laughs> sh I mean, this guy right here bagging his first baddie is a big accomplishment. But if you're going to be a guru on getting women, bro, you got to be more discreet about being bitchless. No, he didn't pay her. They've, been, they've known each other for a few months now. Yeah, she's cool. So uh, she comes all the way from the other side of the world just to see the So I don't want to yeah. hear no and hate no more. Mm -hmm. People say, fresh, you don't get no girls, bro. It's like ugly. It looks like a pug. All right, well, how do you end up with that girl? Actually, tonight, she's going to be on stream. Hmm. Oh, she is? After hours. Let's go, oh, China! she's coming? Let's oh, go, China! Shit. Let's go! Uh, okay. What was she? She won, like, a pageant in China, right? Like, Miss China Miss, or something? Uh, Asia. Miss yeah. Asia. 23. So, yeah, man. They were, like, really bigging up this chick, man. Putting her on a pedestal, which goes against their entire philosophy about always maintaining a masculine frame. A masculine frame isn't giggling like a schoolgirl whenever your homie brings up the chick. And certainly, you shouldn't be an alpha male teaching other men how to get women if you are giggling, you know, and your homie who... I think it's corny just to have this frame. Just break the frame. Do whatever you want. Women are attracted to guys that break the rules. That's what women are attracted to. Not specifically. That's why you can see certain guys wearing dresses. Women don't really care. They're not thinking like, oh my God, the only thing that you can't do when it comes to women is act feminine. Maybe like, for instance, that's, that's not acting feminine. Wearing a dress is not acting feminine. Like, Let's say if something happens and then you scream like a little girl or or if some guys step up to you and all of a sudden you're a coward, that is acting feminine. But all of the rest, like if you're painting your your nails and doing all of that, women don't really care about that. that I'm just being 100 percent. Women don't. They just care about protection. So. I don't agree with this like, oh, let me be an alpha male and these other, I, I got these rules and I got to follow these rules to be an alpha male. Was also helping you move them courses is telling everybody, bro, yeah, this is Fresh first baddie. Yeah, this is some bad stuff, man. Fresh, aka Walter. But low key, she is bad. She, she is bad. Bro, that picture is perfect. But I don't understand. Why isn't Fresh just dating like the blacks very bad case of the first baddie syndrome yo he was floating his girl taking her everywhere showing her off on his instagram he was moving wild bro yo fresh even took this girl back to yeah yeah his yeah, yeah. Country Th of that is a mistake you should never like when you have a girlfriend don't post her don't acknowledge her like that because both from her perspective then she's gonna be like okay I am the baddest that he can get. And then from the other guy's perspective or the, the guys which are stalking you or your haters, bro, they're going to try to f*** your girlfriend. So I'm just saying, like, be very cautious with posting your girlfriend. Barbados. He even went ahead and introduced this chick to his mom. Ooh. These things, though, are just normal relationship stuff that most men would do if, you know, to a girl they like. But because it's fresh and fit, and because of their rhetoric and what they're preaching to their audience, they can't do things like this, yo. See, Fresh even overlooked one of their golden rules that they preach to their audience, which is, if your girl is taking sexy IG pictures while in a relationship with you, well, she has to go. Like, she got to go, right? Under no circumstances can you mess around casually or mess around at all or date any girl who is still taking sexy IG pictures online. Even having your Instagram open and a bunch of like sexy photos of yourself, right? Like sexy photos of yourself on an open Instagram when you have a guy, I think that's cheating. Yeah. 
It's a valid point and he's right there. Flaco is right 100%. If your girlfriend is on Instagram showing her body and showing what you're supposed to be seeing in the bedroom, bro, that's that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. Nah, that's not the way to go. So, yes, this is a golden rule and I do not understand why he broke it. You think that's insecurity? Mm -hmm. oh. Why? Okay. <laughs> if a man could put boundaries on his girl, I think that makes him more secure. Obviously, mm. you know, if you had a picture of yourself like that on the internet True. before, cool. It is what it is. But once you're in a relationship, that shit gets her down. It's getting taken down. Yeah. Profile. But while dating fresh, she Ooh. was still posting pictures like these. Ooh. And also, she was on social media posting videos like these, showing her behind directly into the Damn. camera. Which the normal people like us, this is not a big deal and it's pretty normal. But to fresh and fit, use a simp if you allow your girl to post up on social media dressed like that or doing things like that. So apparently fresh wasn't really equipped to really give advice to men about how to handle their women <laughs> because it looks like his chick was doing like was breaking every rule they told their audience to do, which is not really the best thing for audience trust and credibility because why would I trust you and consider what you're telling me as the right advice if you're not doing none of the things you're telling me? Now, Fresh also broke one of his other rules that he tells his audience, which is never trick on a woman. Don't give a woman no money or, or give her expensive gifts. He broke that rule, clearly, right? <laughs> because this chick... But this is what I think is so stupid about all these rules and why I'm against the rules. It's because, bro, you can say, like... You should do this and you should do that and you should do this. But once you get emotional, my guy, with a girl, all those rules get thrown out of the window. Yes, you should have some some form of golden rules where you're like, okay, I'm not going to take disrespect from a girl, but treating your girl and treating her good and being a, a good guy, bro, you're f either way. If you treat her bad, she's going to be, ah, oh, that guy, he treated me bad, this and that. But if you are a nice guy, then guess what? You're going to be fucked either way. So it doesn't really matter. I, I would just say, go out as a gentleman. That's it. Be a gentleman. Treat her good. Don't talk shit about her. Don't disrespect her. Treat her good. And when she leaves, there's the door. I honestly think if you're just a good person, then you're going to attract good people to you. And even the people which, let's say, fucked you over, they themselves over because honestly it's you are the good person god is giving you blessings but if you refuse the blessings right let's say if if i am sent by god and i come with a present and you say nah i don't want that million i don't care about okay then i give it to the next person whoa i could have i could have gotten a million that's it's really dumb so it's like like my philosophy has changed before I was thinking like revenge is the best outcome, all of that. But now I've understood. Just listen, just be a good person, attract good energy to yourself. And if people try to f over hey, step away from them and just let them do whatever they do, because they're just they're going to you over. Then they're going to and one day they're going to come into a situation where they f the wrong person over and then they're done. It's that saying history will repeat until you learn the lesson. If I don't teach you the lesson, someone else will. So I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't have to be an asshole to women or follow these lists. I don't have to do that because I'm just like, hey, my reputation speaks for itself. I'm a good person. Genuinely, I'm a good person. I know that I'm a good person. So then I don't have to sit and do these lists and go through the, like get coaching from this guy. And that. you don't have to do that because that's pointless at the end of the day. It's 100% pointless. You're going to die. So you sitting and thinking, oh my God, when I texted her yesterday, did I, did I say, that, bro, who gives a damn? If she likes you, she likes you. If she doesn't, she doesn't. And you, you're the prize, my guy. That's how it works. You're the prize. So we'll post a gift that she received, which was a Van Cleef bracelet mm. for $30,000 that Fresh gifted her. This wasn't even an engagement gift, a birthday gift, a Christmas gift. <sighs> it was a New Year's gift. This is new levels of tricking. Listen, yeah. guys, I am not spending that much on any of my girlfriends. I can just be 100% honest. I'm not. I'm not. 
like 30,000. You could buy an apartment in Sweden for that. Okay, not a, an apartment, but that's a down payment to an apartment. We could have like six, seven, eight apartments, like something like that. But I'm not giving her a necklace, which is worth 30,000, bro. That's too much. And a $30,000 gift just for New Year's to me mm. is insane. But again, no, this is normal couple stuff. But because Fresh is teaching alpha no strategy and no improvement, he can't do this. The Fresh and Fit audience damn near despises Fresh. They look at him as dead weight. So it's kind of odd why he do these things, thinking he could get away with it, when the audience are like extreme detectives and always find out. Now, when the girl was posting up the $30,000 bracelet that Fresh got her, uh, the audience began to comment calling out Fresh for being a hypocrite. A fan commented after that mm. big speech Wednesday on Fresh and Fit about how Fresh, Walter, didn't actually pay you to date him. Now you posted this. He's constantly talking about Van Cleef jewelry. So we all know he bought you this stuff. Hypothetically hilarious. What's even more hilarious, it looks like Fresh didn't tell this chick that like he's not supposed to publicly spoil her and trick on her because she would respond back to that comment instead of ignoring it hmm. and outright confirm, yes, that Fresh bought it, but what's wrong with your man spoiling his girl? True. All right, see, she responded back and says, our feeling for each other was genuine. Is there something wrong if your man loves you and buy you a gift? Dealing with Fresh, Myra probably doesn't have a piece. Okay, we get it, my guy. Yes, but when are you going to get to the meat of it? Let's see here. Oh, man, I hate these guys, but let's see here if... If they got better commentary on it. Um, Walter Weeks, Mr. Fresh Prince CEO. Okay, Today's see topic um, seems that um, our, our friend um, Walter Weeks, Mr. Fresh Prince CEO, got his uh, her pregnant. Ooh. And she's keeping the baby and she's exposing him. Okay. <laughs> yes. No, sir. Alpha male guru, whatever, red pill, knows the truth of the world, uh, got caught up uh, with a sex worker and got her pregnant. And now he's begging her to get rid of it. The guys were okay, okay. That's bad. That's bad. I did not know that part. If you're a dating coach, you should know how to avoid situations like this. Ah, shit, that's bad. I'm supposed to tell you not to get these horse um, pregnant, got her pregnant. Now, can I ask you a question? Is that fresh? I'm just asking. Is that a new one? God or is it this the most stale ass mistake you could make in the world? God damn it. You know what they calling him online? Pug CEO. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> they, but that's they, not funny, bro. Stop it. Like, Pug CEO, like, bro, that's. I mean, it's reaching. They got a nickname called Pug <sighs> CEO. Yeah, they are killing this man. All right, so the her name is Daisy Fit. Okay, she she is she's putting them on blast. You mean to tell me that Fresh fucked with Fit? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't understand how people can watch these guys, bro. Honestly, their content is garbage. Yeah. Duh, 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 that's fire. I didn't see that one. It's like every single joke that they make. Oh, oh God, that's, oh my God. Yeah, Pug CEO. Oh, oh, what? Like, bro, like, we get it. Like, just get to it. Jesus. <laughs> I'm just saying. You didn't see that shit when you said it? Because like, because that's the thing. Fresh offers pretty much nothing to the podcast. So it's almost like Fit got him pregnant and got to pay child support. Mm -hmm. If I've seen any girl's Instagram and it has preaching it, I will never talk to her. It could be the baddest. Say that again? It could be the second coming of Megan Good. If she got preaching the Instagram, you better get the fuck away from me. Ain't no way I'm getting no Megan preach good pregnant. That's gay.
That she, yo, 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 she could be the whole incarnate of Halle Berry. Halle Berry? Halle Berry. Halle yeah, Berry. It, it, it could be Halle Berry. And if her middle name's Preach, bitch, you gotta go. Halle Preach Berry? No, oh, she gotta go. You're not clapping. Oh, no! Oh, not clapping oh, Halle oh, Preach Berry's cheek. Nah, 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 nah. Be buying flights and shit and seeing that middle name on the passport. You, you don't want that? Here, bro. No? Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Holly Preach Barry. Nah, nah, don't. don't. <laughs> it really would be Abba and Preach. <laughs> bruh, in the floor, bruh. The floor. Fix the floor. You man! That's disgusting. <laughs> you didn't see him recently? He was talking about Habib Hijab, and he was like... The thing is, if you don't believe in the laws of logic, and for example, non-contradiction, or for example, 2 plus 2 equals 4, if you don't believe in any of that, then you can't have a conversation with anyone about anything because there's no common ground. But, you can never find out what truth is. Okay, so yeah. creation itself, who decided 2 plus 2 plus 4? Man did, right? Hmm? I'm just saying on a basis, 2 plus 2, who decided that? Who decided two plus two equals four? Is that a serious question? Yeah, yeah, no. respect, like, it is a serious question. That's a very serious question. Honestly, I, I'm not being like, I'm not trolling. It's like, even me, as I'm speaking right now, I learned this. Somebody made all these words that we're speaking right now. Sometimes it's good to question things like this. Like, why is the system built in this way? People should be able to question that. I, I think it's stupid when a person just educates themselves at university and then they say, well, whatever they taught me there at university, that's truth. No, there's there's layers to it. Like, for instance, who would you say in history is the worst person? I was taught in school, Hitler is the worst person in history. So I went around thinking like, oh my God, Hitler is the worst person in history. He was, he killed so many Jews. Like, oh my God, Hitler, 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 Hitler. But then I figured out there were worse people in history, like Leopold. Hitler killed, what was it? Was it six million Jews? Leopold killed 20 million Africans. And he's not even in the history books. He should be the most hated person in history. I don't know, I'm, I'm asking you. No one decided two plus two equals so four. How did it come about? <laughs> It's not stupid, bro. <laughs> Yo, that shit was funny, right? <laughs> well, who decided? You know what? There's nobody who can stump you like a stupid person. Uh, so, uh, Miss. It's not a stupid question. The one that fresh was. She writes. She sends a picture. Of the pregnancy tests she mm. took two of them because she needed to confirm that she had pug ceo's babies you always told me you wanted to be your baby's you wanted me to be your baby mother M mother okay i loved you and i did everything to be a good girlfriend now this is happening you walked away i think i want to keep the baby i don't want to kill alive i want you to think carefully and take the responsibility uh. i'll call you shortly take your time and then he says i can't have kids and she says, take responsibility for your actions. She goes, and he goes, what's this? She goes, read it, blood test, pregnancy blood test. So she got all the tests to make sure she knew. I know, but what does it mean? I don't understand the numbers. Because two plus two equals four. <laughs> <laughs> and then she highlights it on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just says, pregnant. And he says, Debatable. it's not about that right now. It's good. It's not good. And a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. I don't want kids right now. And we spoke about it and you agreed. And she goes, I never agreed. I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated? If you keep coming inside me, I will get pregnant. I don't get pregnant without your behave. Words mean nothing. Man up. I'm not saying because I want to be with you because I don't because you are nothing to me. But the baby is innocent. <laughs> What are you saying? We're not together and won't be. Why would that be good for the kid? So she goes, why did you keep coming inside me? <laughs> That's crazy. And, and this is something which you guys should be very, very careful with. Because when you're in the relationship, everything seems like it's great. 
everything seems like it's you're like oh my god and it's like what you have your six month honeymoon period and you're like oh my god this is the greatest girl i love this girl bro just wait six months after those six months you're going to start noticing certain things about her ah uh, i don't like that about her i uh, bro that's not good that's not good that's what i'm saying like you really have to take your time when dating when courting a girl spend time with her spend time with her if you're two years in and you're still in the honeymoon period she's wifey honestly she's wifey but brah six months usually i'm in the honeymoon period for at least at least three months oh shit this girl's great this and that like but there are certain girls which i've noticed like after two months i've noticed like whoa shit this girl has problems you know but that's that's also the thing i think i attract a lot of girls which do have problems so that is on me that is on me let's see if we can because i saw destiny did something a video about it as well the reason the reason why i consider it baby trapping is because it seems like everything is kind of flowing according to plan for her and the priorities right now are exclusively financial even to the detriment of the child hmm. Which feels kind of sure, like, but that's yeah. not flowing according to the plan. It, it sounds like this guy was making plans to like be with this girl forever. From everything he was saying, he introduced her to his family in Barbados. So I, I, I think if the, I think if those logs were leaked, I would start to change my feelings significantly more on it. The baby trap stuff. Just get me caught up really quick, really quick. I don't want to take all day. How did he get baby trapped? I mean, I understand them. Some girl he's been dating for like three months got pregnant. <laughs> And they're like broken up and she's like, you need to take responsibility for this. I'm from China. I'm not going back. I'm staying in the US. You need to take care of me. Run me an apartment. You're f if you do it in America, the child support there, it's going to kick your ass. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. That doesn't sound like baby traps. It sounds like he knocked up a chick, right? And he did. Yeah. But I think, I, I think that that was like her goal the whole time. Like she's Why? like, she's 28. She seems pretty sophisticated. She's got like Instagram pictures of her going over the world, spending a couple weeks in Dubai, doing stuff like that. Hold on, real, real quick. Are you actually fucking with me? You're not doing this on purpose? No, I, th I truly do think that she was, I think this was the goal. Don't care about the money. I liked his lifestyle. By the United States law, he has to pay for the child support. How much money do you think a man should make for it? Yeah, I told him a million dollar. Walter apologized for everything and came clean on everything. Wouldn't you want him to be involved in, like, your child's life? But why would you care about that? Shouldn't the priority be to, like, build a healthy life for your future child? Shouldn't that be the focus? Okay, how you, you don't care. You're not caring. The child right now is just a money ticket for you. You're not caring at all about the child. Why are you leaking what is all the this money? publicly? What the is money the, is the child the support that you think that you were talking about earlier Look, that you're very familiar with. You? I, I don't want to talk to you. Um, Destiny's gonna take a break for a little bit. I am. I will. I'll take out. This woman is a f***ing piece of trash, though. She's ruining I, this kid's life because she's wants Money. I'm a tourist here. I'm not gonna work. That's <laughs> illegal. Without insurance, everything uh, is going to be expensive. So many women say this nowadays. Like, I don't need a man. I can do everything on my own. Then do that. Why do you say I don't need a man? But if I'm going to have a man, he has to make more than me. What? The reason why I'm posting this is because I want everybody to know that he is a liar and he's a cheater. Hmm. Maybe he's a scammer. <laughs> as how he behaved right now on the show after I posted oh, everything. Jesus. He's making a joke about it. Like Well he he said he didn't have any money, right? He said he didn't have any money, he wouldn't be able to get any money. So where where'd all his care. money Bruh, go? He's got so many Lamborghinis and all of that. But then again, those cars could be rented. Who knows? I just have to put this out there, like just be honest. What's the problem with just being honest? Just be yourself. Like, low-key, guys, this is what I have. <laughs> I got some lights. I got a computer. I got maybe, what, two cell phones? That's it. That's all that I own. It, like, why lie about the things that you have? If you have something, then you have it. If you don't, you don't. Like, don't do too much. Yes, I'm working on becoming more financially independent, things that I'm working on every day, but I can't say that I'm a rich man. Like I don't have a Lamborghini. Like I have enough to survive. That's what I have. I'm some money saved. I have enough to survive. But then again, 
I do this because I really, really love this, right? And do it for the passion, not to be one of those like YouTubers, which is constantly showing off what they have. Like who does that? That's corny. I'm, I've followed the Fresh and Fit podcast and Myron, I have a lot of respect for Myron because it's like what he used to work uh, with the FBI. And then also he's not flaunting his wealth. He, he has the same t-shirt on every single episode. It's just like, it has fresh and fit on. Like he, he doesn't need to do all of that extra. He's like saving his money. It's like, that's the way you should be moving. You should not be doing all of these crazy things because it's like, brah, like, nah, nah, it's corny, bro. The money, I don't care about the money. The thing is, I want him to behave like a man. Like he didn't even offer me to like, oh baby, if you don't wanna like, like, you know, we're not together, you don't want the baby, uh, I can help you, you know, take you to the hospital, you know, taking care of the medical just, stuff. Just step up overall, yeah. Nothing, nothing of, no, none of that, you know, that's the reason why I got pissed. Okay. And I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an adult, I can accept the breakup. But the thing is, we planned for this baby and he knew it. Whoa. He I'm knew not it. that stupid, I'm not 18, yeah, he knew it. We always oh, been wow. talking about the baby since day one. He asked me, what if you get pregnant? I told him directly, I would keep this baby because I am in love with you. And I don't like, I've never get pregnant before. Yeah. So if I'm pregnant, I, I'm definitely going to keep the baby. And that's like a hundred percent. You've decided that you are keeping this baby regardless of what he does. I told him that this is what he noticed. He know the information from me and he asked me many times like, oh, and he told me many times, you're going to be the baby's mother, you know, you don't, because I smoke, like I smoke vape, he always take my va vape away. He's like, oh, I want you to be healthy. Um, you're going to be my baby's mother, you know, and what if you get pregnant? And even a week ago when I was at his house, he was like, oh, I don't want to rent an apartment anymore. I want to buy the house instead because like it's better for us for the future and what if we get pregnant sounded like this guy was selling her a dream for instance you guys are dating right everything's going good and she's like okay what are we then you start painting the picture well you know um i want us to move in together i want us to have kids i want bra that's sweet talking a girl she's like oh my god I'm ready to settle down because a lot of girls, they want to settle down with guys, like guys which they are in love with. He knows yeah, what I want. Yeah, because you told him, girlfriend. You told oh, him. No. You didn't no. keep no. nothing Second. secret. I... Okay, wait. Just... Everybody says I'm with him for his money. But mm. look, no, 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 I, no. I didn't say that. Admitted... I didn't say that. No, no, no. I didn't I say that. The reason I'm I, know not, you... I don't care about money. I never said I don't. Why are you posting the bracelet and doing all of that extra? If you don't care about the money, you have to have cared about the money. No one moves across the world if there's not some financial incentive for it. Because yeah. I, on the show, I even said they were asking me what, like, how much money do you think a man should make for? It? Yeah, I told them a million dollar. What? And that's my my that's my uh, standard. I would understand if the girls were making a million as well. That makes sense. She makes a million. I make a million. But a million dollars is your standards. Whew. He knows my standards. Daisy, the reason I know you're not for it. money is because you went 50 50 on that bracelet. Okay. Yes, a woman, a woman who was for money would never go 50 50 on that bracelet. And I bought my own ticket to Miami. Child. First time I went to my, I bought my own ticket <laughs> and I know he buys ticket for other girls. Oh my but God. I never asked him like, can you buy me a ticket? For me, that's like so cheap, you know, just like, $200 or what? Like, because I'm, I'm really in love with the person, so I didn't even care about the money. The reason why he bought me the bracelet, because he bought me a fucking fake bracelet. Yeah, yeah, I know. I and, read and that. Then, and then, because I buy these bank leaves all the time. I have an account. I always know. Like, when the moment I got the bracelet, I'm like, this is fake. But I didn't tell him immediately. I told him two days later. And he was acting like he didn't know. Wait, For sure, a, he knows. I'm just curious. Can I ask a question about the for the kid, if he, if Walter apologized for everything and came clean on everything, wouldn't you want him to be involved in like your child's life? But why would you care about that? 
What, what do you mean? Well, because technically, because he's the most important person that we're talking about right now, right? Yeah, but why do you care about he's going to be a part of my baby's life? Is well, that... it's not just your babies. It's both of your babies, right? Mm -hmm. And doesn't the child yeah, but, uh, uh, he doesn't that... to be involved? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's both of our baby, but uh, he's not uh, acting like men. So do you think he, he has a right to see the baby? Do you think you have a right to child support? Ooh, I I don't. That that is a big one, Destiny. That is a three pointer there, Destiny. You are right about that one. I mean, he doesn't need to. That's fine. Well, you said the U.S. government said he had to pay, but the U.S. government is also going to make you share custody with him too, right? Whether you want to or not, unless you have a yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If the I will let what government decide to do. If they decide that okay i my child have to see him then that's fine but if the government says okay he my baby doesn't need to see him then that's not unnecessary what shouldn't the priority be to like build a healthy life for your future child shouldn't that be the focus like how do you make sure your child has a father that wants to spend time with him and be involved in his life and has a mother Look, but it feels like it's a little slow let it load a little bit Play. Let's go. His father doesn't want him. He he just found out that he's that you're pregnant, right? I mean, he's probably freaking the fuck out. I imagine he probably isn't ready to be a dad or doesn't necessarily want to right now. But like, why close the door on that? Hmm. I am not closing it. I'm just saying, based so he, on his behave right sure, now. But if he, look, he uh, why do you speak future? for him? Why do you speak <laughs> for him? Because clearly he's acting like an idiot on the show. Yeah, but this is the problem, which. A lot of women have nowadays that they don't want to listen to both sides I mean it's two parents it's not one parent right so I'm like you're going to have to co-parent with this person so why not make it as easy as possible for both of you guys Joe, well, you're, you're, both, right you're, now. you're both acting like idiots right to be fair right you've got what am I acting because you got pregnant by a guy that doesn't want to marry you. You're just as dumb as he is, right? Mm -hmm. The problem isn't with either of you, though. That, that shouldn't be the main concern. The main concern should be the child, right? He's not, not concerning about the child. I am. That's why I went on an adult <laughs> conversation. So don't you're you You're leaking speak DMs up, on Instagram. How you, you don't care. You're not caring. The child right now is just a money ticket for you. Uh, you're not caring at all about true. the child. Why are you leaking what is all the this money? publicly? What the is money the, is the child is the support money? that you think that you were talking about earlier Look, that you're very familiar you? with the U.S. Like, law. Who are you? I'm here because I, I got invited from the owner. Who are you? If you're not owner, don't speak to me. Oh. Because you have no right to talk about my situation. It's not you're even literally on the I mean, he just got divorced. So I understand why Destiny is like super pissed off about this. But oh my God, brah. I think Destiny is becoming a little bit red-pilled. I'm not talking about your situation everywhere. What do you mean? I'm talking about the situation. It's not about money. What do you know about anything? What do I? I apparently more than you do. I'm mean, knocked like... up by Fresh from Fresh and Fit. What do you, <laughs> are you trying to act like you're the one with all the experience Who are you? Here? Who are you? How do you have the right to talk about this? Like talking about a man. Well, being I, because I'm apparently because I'm older than you. I've got more life baby. experience than you. I'm well, the only one. Are you older than me? So you have more rights? No, apparently I've got. I'm just curious. It seems like you have like all of this. I, I don't want to talk to you right now. Okay, so. Daisy, I, I don't want to talk to you. Let me, um, okay. Um, Destiny's going to take a break for a little bit. Oh, shit. I, I am. I will. I'll take out. This woman is a <laughs> piece of trash, though. She's ruining this kid's life because you she wants to milk this guy for money. You actually <laughs> suck human filth. Just letting you know that. Good luck. Bye. You can say whatever you want. I am. Daisy. God will judge you. you <laughs> Christ is king. Christ is king, guys. Bro, that's, that's wild, bro. That's wild. Destiny is... It's just he's going through a divorce right now and Melena, bro. Melena is, is in Sweden with some feminine guy, bro. That shit, bro. His, his whole situation's effed up. But I'm, I don't know, guys. Like, I agree with Destiny. This was planned. She planned this. She scoped him a little bit. Let's say a year or two. Just looking, okay. He's got this Lamborghini. He's got this. We've traveled here. We've I've seen this. I've done like I've done all of these things right with him right now, and now let me trap him because girl, bruh, it's very easy for a girl just to not get pregnant. 
she can put one of those like here in Sweden we call it piestav. Like there's a lot of things that women can do in order to prevent it. If if you are a child child's father, you you're not going to pay for that. I'm not asking to him to pay for my shit, pay for my shopping. You you should be trying to get are him as involved in the child's something? life as you're trying to get him involved in the child's finances. And okay, you seem to have no fine. desire to okay. do that. Okay, fine. Don't get me pregnant. You get it's two people. It takes two. He didn't rape you, did he? Are we dropping that accusation today? You guys both no, fucked. The child is both of yours. Well, okay. well, we had an agreement. If he doesn't come inside on me, I won't get pregnant. That's not an right? agreement, honey. That's called biology. Be, be, uh, be logic. Be like educated yourself, please, before talk to me. Before talk to me, okay? People happen. ask me a question. I'm, I'm just telling how I well, feel. I could listen, fake it. He's holding his racism back so hard here, bruh. Like, he could actually just destroy her. Just the accent itself, like, bruh. <laughs> But everyone is like holding, holding it in. But this is like, you bitch. I could fake it, okay? He doesn't have to do that. I'm just saying this is what I wish for. Every woman would wish for that. Every woman would wish to get, how long have you been dating this <laughs> Every guy? woman would wish that the child's father would support them. Yeah, but I think they would also wait to have a baby I'm with not a saying child's father I who want wants to be money. involved with in the child's saying... life. What are you talking about? Like, please, I don't even want to talk to you right now. Don't you want a child's father to be involved in the child's life? Yes, I do. I do. But he doesn't want to. Don't you understand me? Then why not work towards that? Uh... I did. Did you not see what I post? Yeah, he I doesn't saw you even want to talk to me. He doesn't want to have an adult conversation. He refused to see me. He said, I'm not going to see you. But Loki, I have to give it to her there. Yes. It's it's a little corny from a guy which talks about dating and he's supposed to be like a coach. I mean, like, just being honest, right? He's supposed to guide people, guide the youth. Like, this is, this is a life lesson, right? And if you're one of those people which is like, you should do this and you should do that. And that's not the way to do it. And like, bro, like when life throws you a curveball, what do you do? You panic and then you hide. Nothing leaked call. Okay, let's see here. Oh man, so it's been years and the same thing keeps happening over and over again. We have another situation with Fresh and Fit and their their actions not matching the message. And to be honest, mostly always comes from Fresh. So the guy Fresh, he gets exposed at the call gets leaked where he's asking his girl for an abortion. Damn. So check this out right here and we'll come back with some reactions and comments. What? I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No. No. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. Bro, that's, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. You're a life coach, my guy. You're a life coach. You're helping boys transition to men. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing it. Okay. Brother, guy's stressed. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want to kill. <laughs> no. Jesus okay, so Christ. What and what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Why, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby? That's all? I mean... Bro, why even record this conversation? This is the thing which I don't understand. Yes, she's 100% right. She approached him. She did what she was supposed to do in this situation there's nothing wrong with what she did it's just like bro you're recording the call like why even think in those terms I to, the, to the doctor i guess to the doctor 
So you want abortion? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? Because I'm like, there's no way that that's true. But then I said, oh, wow. like. So just think about it. It's mean to be. God Sorry? wants to, God wants you to have the baby. True. Definitely not. That's that's one hundred percent true. When God calls you, answer that phone. Doesn't matter what you're doing, answer the phone call. Do not put God on hold, bro. Do not do that. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Mm. Seven years never happened. And then you're relate in a relate you're fucking me for a month and I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, now, I just think about it, if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you're a sin. Damn. Well, we already said by having sex, but it's too late now. Okay, so if it's some fresh and fit fans. Y'all may watch my channel. Do you guys just accept this as like a part of the lore? Like his character is someone that just fucks up over and over again, and you just like, okay, that's who he is, and y'all just accept him for the drama that he comes with it. You know, I think it has to be that when it comes to this platform. You know, but let's look at some reactions though. Person says she hit the jackpot on his ass. Trish got what she wanted. Mm -mm -mm. Bro need to take accountability like he tell the women on his show. Mm. The red pill griff spills itself wide open. Don't trust grown men with no children when they talk about the virtues of family life and traditionalism. This person says he doesn't push anti-abortion or sexual virtue from a man though. So not a hypocrite at all. Mm. Also, if he was a McDonald's worker, she'd run for her life to the abortion clinic. Since he's a multimillionaire, she wants a baby. Whatever you yeah, and she's recording it. That's that's what I'm like. Like, don't do that. Don't record. Don't do all of that extra shit. Yes, you're 100% right, but don't record it. Don't like, cause it's already you already have malicious intent already from the beginning. You're like, okay, like in case my backup plan, bro. Maybe, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm totally wrong. And hey, then again, I could be wrong. But when it comes to people like that, don't be don't be malicious like that. But uh, those are my thoughts when it comes to this video. Um, that's a wild, wild situation. <laughs>